So why do uni fails? Why are Nisa unhappy? So we are here to prevent the failure and make happy. So we all know if you fail to perform uni in these AMOA, they are the most unhappy patients. And the difference between uni and TKR, the target window is in TKR is only plus or minus three degrees, whereas in UKR we are undercorrected. We are working with one degree, plus or minus one degree, not in the minus, only the plus. It's not moving, yeah. Yeah, so we should not miss the basic concept of UK. Soft tissue release is not part of a surgery. Undercorrect the mechanical axis rule. Do not overstuff. Valgus alignment is not a must like a TK. So issues of UK is not our, many of them is basically it's need to do regularly at least 20% of volume, but we don't have 20% here more. You have only 10% and it's technically demanding, steep learning curve. So surgical technique remains a mainstay of in UK. What are the potential missteps in manual UK? It's failure, more common surgical installation inaccuracy, poor table alignment, eccentric tracking, poor ligament balancing, overstuffing can cause lateral wear out and the vertical and deep tibial resection. Not everybody can do reproduce like morning of Neil Shah has shown. It's very technically challenging to a free hand source, not in a unis. Yes. You can see how the at least this guy is a productor. It's very crucial. Yes. And it is proved that through a mobile window, trying to restore the alignments and cuts, it's not so easy. It is uh, outlays of more than 40 to 60 percent, more than two degrees when you use a manual instruments. You see, just you're trying to see the alignment of the entire limb through a window. It is really a technical challenging to do any uni in fixed bearing on manual instruments. So studies have proved that often fail on technical errors. The difference in mobile and the fixed bearing, in a fixed bearing, we need a 2 mm of laxity across the joint. How do you report the 2 mm laxity? Some tool to tell us the 2 mm is across the joint as lax. So evolution of technologies from conventional balancing instrument, CAS, uh, robot, handle robots now. This is the evolution of our technology in our unit. We have been starting with Brain Lab, Striker, Pre-Plan. Now we are into robotics. This is the gamut of instruments we use. Right now, we're using handle robots. The difference in navigation and the robots, everybody wants to reduce the revision rates to get precision accuracy. But the nav navigation is not able to get so much of precision because of the lack of accuracy in the navigation tools. Especially when you use a uni, it's very difficult to get the reproduce that accuracy with navigation in uni. In the studies have proven that nav does not much as good for total in unis. So if you see the robotics and orthoplasty, it's an interesting topic, both from the surgical point of view and as well as the industry. Well, we are in robotic war, but surgeons are at peace. Only industry at war. We are not at war at all. So the robotic awareness is more between industry, patients and family physicians than surgeons. Even the chat GPT, it, it tells you, see, my topic today is good versus great. I can just put in chat GPT, it tells me entire data what is good about robotics what is great about robotics even the patient has got it so it tells you entire detail what the integrancy is is it really improving it tells you there is a benefits happening so this is data is with the patients now the real facts if you see arthroscopic meetings and trauma meetings doesn't talk about technology the debates happen only techniques because they use cm oam they have scopies Orthoplasty is a room because we still use 80% manual instruments worldwide. That's the reason the technology in the market first. So we should use some form of instruments like in the CAS or handle devices to get your proper alignments. So difference between robots and the industry in medicine, both have a common roots, but the, do not share the same rationale. Industry one replaces human with automation, whereas surgical robots are advanced tools rather than substituting them with a surgical room. So the knowledge and experience of surgeon plays a fundamental role in operating device because it's a buzzword, robotic surgeon everywhere. Aim is to enhance the orthoplasty surgery, the precisely accurately prepared bone, place the components and restore the limb alignments and joint kinematics. Today we have different types of robots, but regardless the topo, let's say the robotic systems, where aim is to get precision accuracy in orthoplasty. We have active, semi-active, passive device, 
we should see all this device the level of interaction of each device happening here so open platform close now right now we have all closed platforms image image based active semi active and compatibility only three systems present now rosa meko and the navio core has got the uk uk in their profile so these are the activity of the robots semi active passive and active is only the quiz and the velis is a passive soft placement guide yeah the interactive system the rosa is a interactive system is a mechanical guide very clear mechanical guides interoperative guidance it gives you it does not cut it helps a surgeon based on your plan to guides the semi active device so act is the synergistic device ct scan so ct scan based on haptic device it prepares interoperative bone preparation if you see the cori so it is also semi active device synergistic device it is uh, helps in bone preparation what dr krishan kiran has showed today so very important a uh, few small video how the gap balance helps so antromedial osteoarthritis the valgus stress what you do for pre operative the soft tissue laxity is very important to quantify the amount of laxity in the planning stage so get the range of motion in real time the stress view the valgus stress the pre op x ray and intra op x ray this is what we require the opening out how much the quantification so based on the gap based on the soft tissue laxity in real time you can plan your components by reducing the bone cut you don't require a, every time a biscuit or the oxford disrupt you take the biscuit the tibial cut goes down so you can plan the surface map it it gets a real time data you surface match the implants uh, dr kiran has showed clearly now so match only a surgeon has to do data input and surface match it see this joint is lax what the pre op valgus test shows i'm just reducing the tibial cut i don't require four mm cut i need a one mm cut i'm able to balance the graph make sure i'm above the line If somebody has two mm it should be across the range you can play with this components and make sure you get the con i want to see the femoral tracking this is what is important see the posterior femoral dots this is what you look for the tracking oh i'm happy with my femur so this centralizing you say handle robotic but it's very uh, bias skills i think the next generation very faster than the present generation you just keep perpendicular the color zone it takes it it takes beautifully i think anup does in one minute two minutes yes get the range of motion you can get the entire post op kinematics this so you can restore the joint lines very clearly the restoring the joint lines you can see in most all your x rays looks better that's a very important so implant position alignment ligament balancing all this robotic helps so what does it do errors in manual uk can be avoided the study shows this you are within 1 to 2 degrees alignments you are not more than 3 it's within 1 to 2 degree we had our own study we improved in accuracy and restored the pre arthritic static and dynamic ligaments component placement with semi auto handled robots recently present ista so our results were within the targets what we planned even we studied about the joint line restoration compared with our previous uh, oxford conventional versus the robotic our joint lines were restored much much better it's far superior significantly joint lines are better with kind of robotic assisted partial knees meticulous planning atten and attention to ligament balancing robot assisted you can not only increase the surgical accuracy in implant position but also achieves better j2 alignment so good enough to preserve the true kinematic limb preserving all the ligaments good proper reception the great success is reproduce a functional radiology outcome across the community all surgeons robotic assist tool fine tuning and balancing so thank you and all knees evolved for one elegant surgery which is truly a kinematically ligament sparing and joint preserving knee orthoplasties uk thank you